Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Sticks by Seven Silhouette. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump into the description. This next test chamber appears to be unintentionally flooded with a deadly substance. Federal regulations require that we re redirect you to a safe... Uh, a safe what? Safe what? Uh, I don't know. There's a weird cut there as well because I pressed the wrong key. Uh, without further ado, though, let's jump into the map, shall we? Uh, oh, it's one of these. Luckily, the war doesn't kill you, right? You are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. Okay. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done. Oh, that's Even in fantastic. The event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. Okay, so what we got? We got a library. Check. Cube. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded. Great work. I pressed the button and a cube went into into the deadly goo, and you're saying that's great work. All right, so that's too low. So okay, pick ourselves up out of here. Okay, so we can go there, or we can go here. This is going to seem more of an option because we can then use transition to that one. If we go over here, um, potentially get trapped. Go down there, go across there, but then there's something on that other side of that middle pillar. It's again. That middle pillar. Um, not looking like a good option to me, so let's not die. And uh, we'll go over here. I said, let's not die. And go over here. Okay. So, what's on the other side of this middle pillow? Nothing. I've got a funnel there. I need to put that button. Can I stand with my head against the button to funnel this cube to safety, possibly? Right, let's save. It appears not. Alright, so. Next plan. Can I jump? Okay, that was something. Excellent. Hey, it's a seven silhouette map. What more can you expect? So, whenever I see the map is a seven silhouette map, I'm instantly thinking ninja kind of moves. So now we can go down here. And button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. So, oh, I could have funneled that down there. Maybe though. Okay, that works. Whew. Okay. So what next? Um Over here. There's no pulse if it's going this way. So, I assume the 
cube needs to go on here. That will activate the funnel. And then what? I want to be on the light bridge, perhaps. Hmm. All right. Anything over here? Just decorative. Okay. I'm feeling it's going to take a few attempts to do this. So, let's save. Well, save the cube. Didn't save myself. Ah! It's close. Alright. Thank you. Let's imagine we already did that. That was a thing that we just did. All right, and that's an even better thing that we just did. We save it there as well. So, this reminds me of my very first portal map, and where I had to use a light bridge to hold a cube onto a button. What I remember about that map, it was rather fiddly to do. So what I think I need to do is, if this is positioned, yeah, it should do, move this up slowly, 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 then jump into the funnel. Funnel takes me across there. Switch to a light bridge. From the light bridge, jump down to there and walk around to the exit. Possibly. All right, so. I know what this was like in my map though at times. So I have to keep there. Ha. The cube drops. Come here, cube. It's so freaking marginal. And the other thing that I haven't thought of. No, that's placement a little bit. Okay. It just falls down. I don't want to try something here, though. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Could I not? Maybe not. Maybe if I was uh, like a pro bunny hopper, 
and I can actually get like some decent speed from this first, but I'm not a decent bunny hopper. I really need to try and get myself out of that hobbit actually. <laughs> I was close. Getting massively distracted here. Space bar. You would have thought the amount of hours I put into this game. By now I'd be able to time my space bar to perfection, but Nope. Alas, I still walk off the edge of surfaces. Even after all this time. Alright, well that's not going to work. It's not happening. Give it up as a bad job. <sighs> okay. Uh, that just pushes the cube down, it pushes meat through as well. Hmm. I just don't know what else to do. So yeah, I was trying to see if I could... The cube actually stops you from bouncing or, or doing anything. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't have to look at the walkthrough. Uh, where are we? We have to keep here. Doing all this again. Get onto there. He's going to.
He's just going to slot that in there. Are you kidding? Well... As I said at the top of the video, being a seven silhouette map, shouldn't expect anything else, I guess. Yep, there we go. I don't think I would have found that angle on my own, if I'm honest. Or the thought just to kind of like push that in there. So, yep. And then we do that. Go across to here. The rest of what I thought I was right. Yeah, it was just that one thing again the cube. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh dear God. It's about to save there, wasn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah, so I had the right thing. I just wasn't sure how to do it. Um, clearly pushing it in. I guess once you once the button presses into the ceiling, it gives you then more room to slot it in. So yeah, trial and error. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think even though it was, I consider it relatively simple. I think it would still give a lot of people trouble. Uh, mainly because of the kind of jumping around and the ninja-ish moves uh, you have to perform. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any message you'd like to play, please leave them in the comments or head over to my Google form. My link to that's in the description. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.